X-Men Season 1, Episode 4, Episode Thoughts. This episode is called Deadly Reunions, so spoilers for these first four episodes. And let us uh, write another episode that I absolutely love, and let's dive right in. So we have... I'm just going to make dumb so Yips. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we open on Xavier going through Sabretooth's mind, and we do really get why he is so violent. You know, the kind of abuse that he used to face. And, yeah, really love the, the visual metaphor. You know, he shuts him out, so there's a big wall there. It's, yeah. And, yeah, you know, Xavier says, you know, I hate, I helped Wolverine the same way, which is a great, you know, as, you know, it makes a lot of sense that Wolverine did need this. He did in the comics and the movie as well. And, well, in the movie, not quite as, anyway, I think you know what I mean. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's, um, it's communicating to the kids it's okay to need help. It's okay to need help with your mental health. And, you know, I suppose the episode does say, you know, some people are too far gone. Or maybe maybe it's more that if you are not, if you refuse to let someone help you with your mental health, you know, Sabretooth refuses the help. He just pretends. And, uh, let's see. You know, in real life, there are, you know, not, not all attempts to help with someone's mental health help is, you know, some of it might be well-meaning but misjudged, but I don't expect a, you know, a kid show, a Saturday morning cartoon to get into to that. And, yeah, Magneto attacks this uh, chemical facility with, you know, including toxic chemicals. And, you know, it's, it's a good way to get around, you know, it's a kid show. He's not going to, like, be, you know, like, torturing humans using, like, like, directly. You know, he has to direct something else. And it's, yeah, it's a good way to get around that. And, yeah, the X-Jet always, you know, cool as always. And the X-Men struggle to hurt Magneto, you know, which... Does you know that is kind of necessary at this point? He's basically he's on his own. He hasn't raised the the brotherhood yet, apparently. So yeah, the fact that they can't hurt him is basically <laughs> otherwise they they would probably be able to to take him out. And let's see. Yeah, we we get a hint that Storm is claustrophobic, which I believe will be explored later in the show. And Xavier does show up facing down Magneto. A lot of great lines by, by Rogue. You know, the, you know, kissing Cyclops, you know, to, to do the, you know, mouth to mouth. And it's like, come on, make a girl feel welcome. And just, yeah, some, some really great lines by her. And I like that, you know, Xavier and Magneto, they debate, you know, before they, they fight. And, both of them are making sense, you know, the, this thing of, you know, Magneto says, when I was a, a child, you know, there were people making arguments, and then, but our, while our enemies raised, you know, military forces, you know, and, and that is, like, you can understand where he's coming from, and the, the, yeah, in, in the situation he's talking about, violence was the right thing to do. So I, I really appreciate that distinction. It's something that a lot of, like, yeah, not, not everybody loves acknowledging that, but sometimes violence is the answer. It, you know, it should be avoided whenever it isn't. But, yeah, and, and yeah, seriously respect a, a kid's show, you know, like, this the 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 um, respectability politics were a big thing around this time, you know. So, yeah, I, I really appreciate this actually subverting that. 
you know, uh, uh, respectability politics on the left, I mean, you know, like, conservatives are always gonna say you shouldn't use violence no matter how bad your situation is unless it serves us, but, you know, if you were listening to mainstream left, and, and I, I suppose it is still a mainstream, there was less, there was less of a platform for far left voices back then where, you know, today, like here on YouTube, there's plenty of people who are very far left who are arguing against respectability politics, but at the time, it wasn't really much of a, yeah. Uh, and I would appreciate that Xavier fights using knowledge ideas uh, and, and such, not violence. Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, if he can control Magneto's mind, like, hypothetically, he can, like, you know, give... Let's see... Yeah, he, he could probably do some something extremely painful, but what he chooses to do is, like, use the... the you know, these, these images from his past that, you know, yeah, like, hypothetically, he, he could probably be assaulting Magneto with images the way that Sabretooth's, I, you know, mind was full of these violent images, and, yeah, let's see. I had forgotten that he could call, that, that Xavier could call the chair to him, but, I mean, makes sense, the, the yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I quite like the, the detail that, you know, um, Rogue now has the, the powers of Cyclops, so she has to keep her eyes closed in order to, to not, you know, and, and yeah, that, this is also when that's really underlined, you know, I can imagine some of the kids might not have understood from the episode before this one, or was it the, it's one of the previous episodes certainly did, you know, but yeah, here... If you have to close your eyes in order to, to not have the optic blasts. And, uh, let's see, but, but yeah, and, you know, Xavier uses, you know, he's going to be the eyes of, of Rogue, and using telepathy is going to be, yeah, um, yeah, and we, you know, we see Senator Kelly, you know, we knew he wasn't going to give up. Or was that guy rich? But anyway, yeah, we knew that they weren't going to give up, and now he's announcing his, you know, presidential candidacy, and literally, like, he's running on a platform of, I will punish my enemies, I will put them in camps, like, holy crap, uh, they've, I mean, yes, I already knew that Trump was a cartoon character, I just didn't realize that it was quite this liberal. Let's see, and and you know, like he, you know, Senator Kelly couches it as, oh, you know, we just want to help them, you know, and yeah, it's it's a really great. Uh, I, I really appreciate communicating to young American, you know, to American children, internment camps. That's you know, you're the bad guy if you support that, you know, like there are Americans to this day who don't want to acknowledge that it was wrong to put the Japanese in internment camps. Let's see, and... Jubilee helps Sabretooth thinking, you know, oh, he's, he's in pain, and, you know, he manages... He, he's going to try to escape, and... Wolverine, you know, good thing I didn't go f too far away to cool off, and, yeah, we get them fighting each other, and because it's a kid's show, a lot of it is basically, like, wrestling kind of stuff, you know, like, I've seen them fight in the comics where, like, stabbings and, like, you know, cutting and, and such, and, you know, Sabretooth does, like, slash across the, the chest of Wolverine. And 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 you know there at the end Xavier admits that he failed and yeah pointing out you know you have to be like some it is possible to be too idealistic it is possible to believe so much that you're right that you don't acknowledge when your methods might be too you know might not go far enough and it ends on Magneto Basically saying, you know, he's going to recruit, uh, you know, other mutants and just, yeah. 
Um, I really appreciate that this, like, this episode, what's the word? Like, um, it contrasts, I guess. The, the, you know, we, Sabretooth and Magneto are both the, the, like, the, um, nemesis of their respective X-Men, you know, and, you know, Xavier used to say, you know, we have to go easy on, you know, Wolverine pointed out, why do we go easy on my nemesis, but, you know, with, with yours, it's guns blazing, and, yeah, you know, the, we, we get some, we, we learn some about their past, and we we see that they are they are very resistant to the idea of you know more peaceful methods and it is in both cases it's because of the the violence not all of it physical with magneto physical but you know some of the violence we see against sabretooth was psychological you know which is also, you know, I always appreciate an anti-bullying message in something aimed at kids. Which, you know, the 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 nice the the positive reading is, you know, you don't want to hurt, you don't really want to hurt someone's feelings, do you? The the harsher reading is, if you bully someone, eventually they're gonna like slash your chest with with their claws. But the I. Th think that is probably... right I appreciate you know Jubilee trusting Sabretooth is also basically called out you know some <laughs> that's pretty typical for American kids media you know don't trust strangers kind of thing but it's still good to see let's see um I suppose if if I were to criticize something Ultimately, the X-Men in the chemical plant didn't really accomplish anything. It's setting up future stories. That's that's fair enough. Um, you know, it's it's a um, yeah. You know, Rogue legitimately. You know, even if she's trying to help, if she touches someone else, it hurts them. Which is something that's going to be explored further. It's been mentioned, but it's going to be explored further later. This sets up the claustrophobia of Storm. And, you know, basically like, you know, telling kids, you might not be able to see it, but someone might still be in pain. You know, someone might, you know, they might be dealing with something that you can't tell. So, you know, try to help them under those circumstances. And, and claustrophobia is one of those. It I, I forget if it's in the comics as well. It's been a while uh, since I read one of those. Um, but but yeah, you know the, the oh crap! I forgot to put a comic up behind me. Uh, I haven't run out. Yeah, just slipped my mind. Uh, let's see the. Um, but but yeah. What was the what was the other thing? And, and right, and I suppose it is it is good to to show like you know when they were fighting humans, they were wiping the floor with the, you know they were very easily you know it takes sentinels or someone like Magneto to really pose the challenge to the X Men. The sentinels are gone. Magneto's out there. He is not at all deterred. He's like he's basically thinking, oh you know sure I'll I'll just I'll gain more forces. That's how I solve this, you know. And I forget if we actually see more of, but we do get, you know, some indication of, some details of why Wolverine hates Sabretooth. The, this thing of, you know, they used to work together, but then Sabretooth killed some people that Wolverine cares about. And yeah, that is, you know, the abbreviated version of what their backstory is in the comics as well. Why they hate each other and... Or, or why, why Wolverine hates Sabretooth, at least. And... Yeah. Great to, to get these... Jubilee still isn't particularly, like, 
I get it. She's, you know, the kids are supposed to identify with her, which is why she's the, the super annoying character. Uh, you know, see also Wesley on Star Trek Next Generation, or TNG, if you're nasty. Yeah, uh, I forget if she ever gets any more, like, any less cringy, but, you know, it's it's fine. You're, you, you get one. You know, everybody else is awesome, so... I think that is absolutely everything. I, I guess I tell you what I will. I will address the the comic real quick. You know, not gonna go behind me, but yeah. Well, let's see. There we go. Catching the light decently. Yeah. That is gonna be it for this video. So yeah. Uh, catch you again tomorrow. Make my marvel.